Okay, so in order to create a custom PowerPoint slide design, you're going to need to sign up for Canva. It is free, but I absolutely recommend the pay version, which is only about 12 bucks a month, and you can do a whole lot more with it. All right, so what you're gonna do is when you log in, you're gonna see this question, what would you like to design? So here you're going to put in presentation, and you're gonna choose for PowerPoint, it's going to be the wide 16 by nine, okay? So when you open that, uh, right here on the left-hand side, you are going to see a whole bunch of different designs that you can choose from. Now, if you hover over it, you'll see that the slides start to move and you can see um, it's, it's almost like a set of styled designs that you can actually use for your presentations. So let's say for example, I wanted to use, um, let's say this one right here. Okay, so if you open it up, you're gonna see all the little templates in here. Now you just click it and it will install it right here. And then all you need to do is change out like the colors, the design, all of that. You can customize it, put your logo and everything else that you want to there, change the color schemes or whatever. Um, you can even change the pictures. So for example, when you work on this slide here, you can change this picture, okay? So you can basically go up here and upload your own images to the slide. Um, so now let's say, for example, I wanted to use this slide set for, you know, for my um, PowerPoint presentation. So I would go one by one and then just edit each one of them. So I will go, I'll click there and then, you know, I'll you know edit the the content on there and then I will click add new page and then from there I will choose the next one okay and then I will go in and I will edit and then I will add a new page and then I will choose the next one and so on and so forth okay so I will go all the way down create my content through here and then once I'm done with all of the content here's what we're gonna do next First of all, you're gonna save it. So presentation for, let's say, November 1st. Okay, so uh, I am going to click this download button and we are going to choose, of course, we wanna download all three pages and the file type is going to be uh, ping, so PNG, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna download that and that's going to download and we're going to be able to save it to our computer if it doesn't automatically save to your computer i have my computer set to save it to where i want to save it to so i'm just going to save it to my desktop for now it's going to save as a compressed folder so we'll click save okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to open up gmail and we're going to go to uh to the um right here okay so when you get into Google Drive, you click on New, File Upload, and then you're going to choose the folder for the presentation. Just click Open and that will instantly install it in there, okay? And then what you do is um, you click on the presentation for November, the zip file. You're gonna open it up with the zip extractor and then it will load. And then you're going to extract now, and then we'll, it will load again. And then you're gonna see that the images are available here. So if you click it, you'll, you'll be able to see the actual image. And from there, you can download the image to your computer. So you can create like another folder on your desktop. Says so something like, you know, oops, somebody's calling me, hold on. Okay, shut that off, sorry about that. So um, what you're gonna do is um, you're gonna name your folder, you know, presentation, uh, presentation for November 1st. Okay, let's say that was the folder. So now it's already labeled number one, P, uh, a ping image. So we'll save that to the folder. And then we will uh, go back. And so the next one, we're gonna open that in a new tab, or actually we can, uh, yeah, open it up in a new tab, and that's gonna open up. And then we're gonna download that, 
and save it to the same folder. So you see, it automatically puts it in the same folder and it labels it number two, and then we click save. And then we go back to the presentation and we go click on, or right click on uh, open link in a new tab. And then we will click download. Okay, and we'll add it to that folder. So now we have a folder of the three slides that we created. So now from there, we can open up our PowerPoint presentation and we're going to choose the blank presentation. Okay, so now from here, we can go to insert pictures and we're going to go to the desktop and find the folder that we created for um, the presentation. Okay, so here's the folder, here's the images. If we click, and because it's sized to this, you know, 16.9, um, we're going to click on one by one by one. So there, it automatically puts it there. So we can copy this slide or we can actually uh, insert a new slide, however you want to do it. But I just typically copy the slide uh, by clicking Control C on my laptop. I don't know what it is on a Mac, uh, but a Control C and then Control V. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my mouse on it to delete the image. And then I'll go here to insert. Pictures again, check, uh, check number two, and then insert that there, and then copy, paste, make sure I'm on the slide, delete that image, and insert the next image. And you keep doing that until it's all done, okay? So now we have the slide, you know, the PowerPoint presentation, and there we go. Looking all nice, right? So that is how you create a, basically design your own custom uh, PowerPoint slides. And you can do that for free. They come out beautiful because, like, you know, like I said before, there's nothing worse than, uh, you know, just using, the, uh, for me, I don't really like the PowerPoint designs. They're kind of like, ah, I don't like them. Um, now you can always go and design your own, but this is a great way to do it inside of Canva and it's free. But again, I, rec I highly recommend the Canva paid version because you get so much more, um, you know, just stuff to do inside of there. So you're creating presentations, obviously, because you have an audience that you want to, you know, communicate a message to. So what I want to do is I want to invite you to actually attract more people to come and see your PowerPoint presentations when you go and you do your webinars or your live streams or whatever it is that you're doing with your design, you know, your custom designed PowerPoint slides. So I want to introduce you to my free attraction marketing content that converts. It is a free 14 minute video where I'm going to show you seven of my proven to convert attraction marketing content that helped me generate over 9,000 leads, 600 sales, and all over $339,000 in profits. Um, so you definitely want to get access to this. If you want to download this, simply go to lisatorresspeaks.com forward slash 15. And I will put the link right below this video so you can get access to it quickly. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.